But first, I'm going to greet everyone. No, don't Hello. Try the stream yet, then. It's too late. It. It's too late. We're late. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's okay. We'll live. Probably. I'm gonna die. Probably. We're gonna die! All of our fans are gonna come and murder us. I should probably tweet out on Twitter. <laughs> I, I put down that, that we were going on in five at least, so. Wrong! I will be back. I need to go get my tea. Beer beat. Fucking lame ass. School! <laughs> Fucking running away as soon as we start the goddamn stream. Leaving me to pick up all the pieces. <sighs> also, what the fuck is behind her chair? What is that moon? She's not even here. She can't even answer. Um. Is not responding. No response from the Scott. All right, we're back. Ugh. We've returned. Yay! All right, let's actually click on the game. Continue. Amanda crying is the last save. Why? Always try your best at everything. Add to base six. Oh, should I clicked outside the box? Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm typing something. I'll read it in a second. Um, um. No, it's okay. If you're doing something, I'm just gonna have a sip of tea. focus on this. I put out our stream notif uh, in the Discord just because 
Now live bot is sleeping. I think it gets busier at night, I think, is the issue. Uh, no, it's been having issues lately, according to the cre creator of it in their own Discord. Mm, okay. They've had to, like, restart it, and the person who works on it has been absentee for, like, two weeks or something. Oh, gonna go the way of the ex, ex kit. Uh, maybe. Yike. Uh, well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. Wait, why was Amanda crying? See, this is what I don't know. I don't... Oh, I guess we got spoilered somehow uh, by just Oops. the save point. Oh, that's Oops. okay. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Uh. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. The crying mm. immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. Uh, no, my child! Oh no. In the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Mm. Hmm. Sorry. I'm a caring father. Did something uh, happen? Did something happen? Did something happen? No! Nothing happens. Go away. Amanda Panda. Okay. Something must have happened. <laughs> Were you gonna go posterity save? I was tempted! I can't remember how this goes. Amanda. Get out! Okay, okay. I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. No, oh, thanks, Brad. <laughs> I have a lot of practice crying. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, you have a good cry voice, and I'm glad that you also take direction from, like, the, uh unsaid word aka the narration where it's like obviously she's crying so get, get that cry voice ready mm -hmm. i was crying earlier i had yeah. a I, I got a moving gift ah wow Abby. what has her so upset she seemed fine earlier father father unit i need you to shut up <laughs> dream <laughs> daddy but not not so dreamy <laughs> Father unit, shut your trap. You are so loud. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. You're a millennial. We all got it down. That's true. True. That's fucking true. I also have crippling depression. <laughs> and anxiety. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ding. She's usually so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. It's okay, just care for the big girl. <laughs> okay, the girl. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long Hi, Marco. Night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. Marco's here. Hey, Marco! About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room, makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Oops, I forgot. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it shows up on screen. I'm not too. allowed to do that. I keep forgetting. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. Of course, when I want to eat food, I have to read. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything big going on at school today? Uh, no. 
Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. See, I can't remember how this situation worked the first two times I played. Because... Ooh, ow, that's a loud sound effect. Ah. Mm. She just slammed the door. Oh, okay. See, like, my first two playthroughs, I don't remember how this went exactly because I played in succession, so I just did the same choices because I think ah. I got the achievement for whatever goes on with Amanda. Or maybe the achievement happens later. Either way, I don't remember going like this, but it may have gone like this. I mean, it's possible you could have turned around and also just chosen to leave her alone. Yeah, but, like, that's my brain instincts. It, it, the thing about their rapport is super weird, right? Because they have a super, no, super open rapport, but Amanda yeah. closes up really, really hard at this juncture, so it's like, you want to continue to kind of be like, hey, no. We have an open relationship. What's going on? Yeah, like, why are you not opening up to me about this when you literally talked to me about everything? But I think maybe the deviation that I did in my playthroughs was that the second prompt time where it's like, leave her alone, you leave her alone. Because I seem to remember an instance where she comes to you, but maybe it's in a different part because this, this sort of problem persists. Well, you didn't have to not posterity save we could have done that yeah i know but i was like maybe it doesn't matter maybe this is not the time that i'm thinking of and i didn't mm. want to like push down your choices you know what i'm saying no i'm not saying y you wouldn't push down my choices i mean I well don't... yeah we obviously have no problem with saves coming so let me just say that fair so if there's any point in which you're like i want to save before we make this choice i think just do that it our save is just right before that but at the same time it's like is it really going to matter to the run as far as, like, I love Amanda's relationship with the dad, but it's mm -hmm. at the same time, like, I don't think, emphasis-wise, it's going to matter much in the run, but I kind of want to give you the full Amanda experience, and I'm not sure you yeah. can get it on a kind of cloistered version. Yeah. So let's just go back and, like, check our stuff. So here's the original Amanda crying thing, and we will... I don't, I don't... I'm, now I'm worried. I'm just going to bust through yeah. this. To, I'm not going to read it yeah, again. <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask you to, but I'm just going to bust through this, like, kind of. There you are. Mm. Everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I think this one's fine. Okay. And then when you're given the option to leave her leave alone. Leave her alone. All right, I'll leave you be. I back out of the room and close the door gently behind me. She immediately starts crying again. Wow, I have no idea what has her so upset. She seemed totally normal. I feel off or just awful just leaving her to cry, but I also get the feeling that if I tried to do anything else, it would have only made her more upset. Yeah. And I can't stop mentally cycling through all the... All sorts of awful things that she could be dealing with right now. More than anything, I just want her to be happy and safe. Hey, shades. Uh, you're hey, shades. you're not you're not late to much because we literally just went and rolled back our save because uh, mm -hmm. we wanted a little better rapport with Amanda, and I wasn't mm -hmm. certain that you could get it on the other end. Uh. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm, I'm still thinking about Amanda. I already read that line before. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it would repeat, so. Um, this is all the same. Yep. She's still acting the same, though, sound cue-wise. Beeline for yeah, the freezer. More Amanda. Yeah. I think... Some waffles, slams freezer door. I think this might go the same. Yeah. But I think it's better this time. No, I don't need a ride. Do you need a ride just... Yeah. Coffee. Leaves with the freezer burned waffle. Storms out. Yeah. Blam. So, pretty much the same. Okay. Up well. until this point. See, this, this part is different, I think, from what you read last time. Yeah. 
I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I don't know, Mankey. I don't know why you wouldn't get notifications. I know our Discord uh, notifier is on the blink. So maybe yeah. Twitch overall, maybe Twitch is also having some uh, it notification could be that the issues. Twitch RSS is not working. Cause like I know my emails have been coming in later and later on, like just over the past couple months. So maybe, mm -hmm. maybe it's just Twitch. It could be. Cause I'm pretty sure their notifiers and the uh, the bots all work off of the same RSS feed. Hmm. So if that has an issue with it, then it could be that's what's going on. It's possible. Could be backed up because there's just too many people at the same time. Mm-hmm. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on the wall. I wasn't sure where that sentence was going because I didn't read it before actually reading it. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was going to be a picture of Amanda and I hanging out. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> That's why the, the sound of the sentence kind of went haywire for a second. Yeah. Just like, hold on, what? <laughs> also, there's too many ands in the sentence, mm. so. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. Same. Hmm. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream and it was like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Jesus. After giving it a bit of thought, I decide that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. Okay, this is starting to sound more and more familiar. I start rummaging around for ingredients. This will be a very Tory move, if I recall. <laughs> I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I want to say sorry about last night. Mm -mm. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong and get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. And I... So, just whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Ah. Honey, you know I'm bad with words. So, I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and <laughs> place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Ta-da! Told you it was a Tory move. Dad. I made an entire <laughs> cake. Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. <laughs> it's got shitty frosting job and everything. <laughs> and sprinkles. <laughs> oh, good lord. Looks like a couple of my cakes, too. <laughs> um, it's got candles. It really, yeah. It took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over and... This is beautiful. It's strawberry. Amanda gives me a big ol' hug. <laughs> I grab some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing. I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just- I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? <sighs> <laughs> Mankey, Mankey, what's with the face? <laughs> also, Brad, I 
candle for every time I cursed because I messed something up real bad. I'm sorry, Brad. How are you not just swearing Whoa. during this game? And also, that's Whoa. only three swears, dude. I mean, he's not swearing during the game because he was playing with his dad. I don't know. He could have been swearing. I didn't catch every stream. Oh. <laughs> oh, just talking about making the cake. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess I should start from the top. So, you know how Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R... No, bah. Huh. Ah, <laughs> shit. Audience, help me. This? Hang on, I'm Audience, going to... Audience, help. I'm going to go look up something really quick. <laughs> Which one is it? Is it the one who puked? Okay, or is it the best friend? Let me just friend? look up the official dream daddy of MR. Emma She's Bar. Amanda's best friend, and his story unfolds, uh... Damn it, you don't give me any hints! The fuck, Wiki? <laughs> oh, I forget things. Oh, yeah, boy. Bank. Hang on. Also, besides, it was my dad who taught me how to swear. Nice. <laughs> uh, the best, well, she's the best friend, so. There we go. All right. Okay. You got it! Wow, proud of you. Hmm. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? Hang on, I gotta close this so I can see my Twitch. Fucking relatable. Hmm. Relatable indeed. Emma P's the one who puked all over things. <laughs> Eat her puke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny to me? <laughs> I just said face value was really funny. P for puke. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Tori. <laughs> You're welcome. Also, Brad, shit, it's the best friend or, or other one. Thank you, Brad. Brad says Amanda's the one who puked. Oh, that's right, she did. No, we're the one who puked. Remember, we got food poisoning. Shit. Yeah. And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M that both of the Emmas... Grace and Noah all went to a party at Mackenzie F's on the same night, and they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Wow. AB. Really? Ooh, one of those situations. Yeah. Yikes. Big yikes. So, another important piece of information is, uh, uh oh god, this is really embarrassing. I am, have a crush on Noah, and, um, that's a thing. What? Whoa. I had... No idea. Definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. <laughs> so are you! <laughs> I learned the from the worst. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was of R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just kept quiet and kept going about my business. Amanda sighs. And then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy, like, simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips, and I really wanted some nachos. Totally understandable. So I go to the mall anyway. I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No. Yes! I know! So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because of course she does. And Emma R just, like, glares at me. <laughs> Grace, Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Oh, Marco also reminds that Amanda did up Chuck at the Hot Topic in the Yeah, I thought it was Amanda. Well, I mean, we also puked. Was, like, really proud of it and, like, dragged you over yes. there to show that the stain was still there. Yes, that's true. She's proud of it. We're not so proud of our food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grace is the... Shit. 
Time to Google Dream. Shit. Ah. Good thing I can type with one hand. Grace is mentioned, story unfolds, styles no one really likes. She's the girl that no one really likes, so probably the boring one. I'm gonna do it. Oh shit. I fucked up. I said the boring one. Well, yeah, but that's not the important part. Grace is the one nobody really likes. Or, I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck. Which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. This is a very relatable story for me. Mm -hmm. Not not for all of the reasons, but for some of the reasons. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to this shitty day, and I immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they'd been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR asking how long Noah thing's been going on, and sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? <laughs> what did MR say? I'm a little confused, but I think I understand. I have no idea what's happening. What did MR say? Ooh, okay. Get a load of this. MR says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Oh, wow. This is like when I was in Seattle. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm having deja vu. I am a little bit too. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I got this. You got what? Are you gonna drag this. me on stream? <laughs> I got this. I'm sure, that'll probably be fine. What you doing? Oh Christ! What it? No, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, now I'm fucking choking on my cheek. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and your car memes. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you haven't gone to Deja the Maho Studios playing uh, that while also playing the fucking, like, game. Deja vu. Game Boy Scott, say it again. Racing game. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Scott. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads, word for word, an arduously long string of text messages. Hmm. Like, every time me and my Can aunt Can you believe that? Wait, what was that? It's like me every time me and my aunt get into a fight. True, though. <laughs> I can believe that or I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's <clears throat> social life and mental well-being, but man... Oh, no! No! Backtrack! No! <laughs> no, I think this is okay. Okay. Man, do I not understand what she's talking about? This is all beyond me, but I am trying my hardest to be supportive. Hmm. They were dating in secret for like months. Oh shit. So I'm gonna just quick anecdotally tell you why this is this is uh, familiar to me. So I was gonna ask um, a guy to a dance, and I told this other girl that I was gonna do that, and she and we were at the movie theater with him and a bunch of other people, and I was going to do it there. And, and like, so, like, you know, girls migrate in, in herds, right? Well, we all went to the bathrooms after the, the show was over, and Amber just, like, fucking books it for some reason out of the bathroom, and I'm like, okay. And so I go out there, and she's fucking asking him to dance, in which he said yes. Which was like, wow, you huge fucking bitch. <laughs> understand why that's a thing because that's actually a very fucking common trope for like the tv stuff yeah literally that always fucking happens like if you as the interested party tells anyone that you're interested in a guy or girl it's because you always you seemingly immediately like well i'm gonna do it first it's just like what the actual fuck see the thing the problem was that this person well one we were in middle school so it's even even more like kind of a a low-grade dating pool in this area but like it, the person in question was uh, very charismatic, we were all good friends, and uh, Amber was kind of okay, a petty but... bitch. <laughs> okay. and, but she okay. liked him, and, like, I... She like, liked him, I but never mentioned had... it, so as soon as you set your yeah, on Yeah, she him, fucking, she, she panicked and, and preempted Got me. Um, the thing was, I was very gratified that they never actually dated. He just went and then, like, hung out with his friend group instead of her, so it was like... <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Yeah, basically. It was it was oh. a gratifying situation for me. <laughs> See, I just relate to the whole friends abandoning you and hanging out on their own without you thing. So. Oh, that too. I didn't want to really go I didn't want to really go into that in any fair fair amount of detail cuz I just will flat out say I had that happen a lot. <laughs> I'm not a likable person, let's be real. So, I'm yeah. I'm a horrible gremlin, but I know that the reason that they did this was less about me and more about them being fucking horrible people. Yeah. Because, like, okay, this is, again, another middle school story. Fancy that. But this was two years earlier, or one year, technically. High five shades. Hey, shades! Jo you're joining a club! <laughs> yeah, you're joining the horrible people club. I am a, I am a gremlin. Anyway... So, like, the thing was that, well, this one girl didn't like me, but she was, like, you know how you kind of, like, have tears in, a, like, a larger friend group where you're, like, yeah, there's a cent there's a kind of central person or couple people, and then there's, yeah. like, the leader, a, basically. then there's, like, a kind of a ring around them, and then, like, there's a further exterior ring. Well, she was on the further exterior ring, mm -hmm. and I was in the middle uh, with the one person because we, we done bowling together and like we'd been, gotten really to be good friends but the problem was that I was still acting like what you would call colloquially back in the day a tomboy and mm -hmm. when you're heading in through middle school and you um suddenly start like dealing with girls who want to do girly shit tomboys don't really survive unless they're good friends with people so what happened was um they kind of kept getting weirder and weirder, and it, I think it had to do with the... It, they basically cited that I was an annoying person, and it, like, made that a trigger word for me for a really long time. Um, wait, like, as, as far deeply as into, like, early college, before I got over that kind of, like, knee-jerk, like, oh no, I'm annoying. Um, and it just sucked, but it was, like, kind of instigated by this one girl who did not survive that friend group either. It was just like, oh, great, you started an avalanche and I suffered it. <laughs> like, great, thank you. And I was bullied. They, they bullied the shit out of me. They started hanging out exterior to me and bullying the shit out of me. It was great. It was a great time. Yeah, I don't have any specific stories about it, at least none that I want to go into detail with. But, Shades, I'm sorry that happened to you. Um, I'm going to fucking fight those people. <laughs> unfortunately, I'm a girl and girls don't communicate in that way anytime that they have shit to say about you they say it behind your back so you will never fully know unless it's completely revealed to you so about the only <laughs> the only funny story i actually have about this kind of bullshit is, is it a uh, funny story or a sad story tori <laughs> it is it is funny mostly because it just mm -hmm. proves how much of an asshole i am <laughs> um so in middle school like I've, I've pretty much always been fat since, like, eight years old because of me going down to my grandmother's unattended. Um, <laughs> and grandma liked to feed you? My grandmother, it, it was two things. My grandmother liked to feed me, and also my grandmother did not care about me. Oh, and understood. When, and my mom was very good about keeping on top of what I ate, mm -hmm. and she had me regulated. Like, she's just like, you know, I wasn't... Like, if I wanted to get a cookie, I could go get a cookie, but I asked her first, and she would decide, mm, no, it's close to dinner time. Yeah, you don't so... don't need a cookie right now, or, you know what, it's like, it's in between meals, so yeah, you can have one cookie right now. Yeah, you had so an adult like actually, was... you know, adulting. Yeah. Instead yeah. of just I was fucking, fucking around. You know, I, I wasn't even eight yet at the time, because it was before eight years old that this happened. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom monitored my diet, and she didn't starve me for snacks. She didn't starve me for food or anything. Um, a couple of things happened. First thing my grandmother says when I get off the plane is she starts complaining about how skinny I am and how you can see my ribs. Mm. And mm -hmm. it's like, that's because I'm a tall kid. <laughs> uh, the doctor says I'm actually a perfect weight. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Because um, I've never been underweight in my entire life, not since the day I was born. Hello, mm. 10 pounds, 8 ounces. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, so, first of all, there's that, so, of course, my grandmother keeps trying to, like, feed me not exactly healthy foods, but 
you know, she she had no problem with giving me food. Second thing is when I would go and ask for a snack, my grandmother's like, why are you asking me? Just go get it from the cabinet. Ah. Uh. What's the worst thing you can tell an eight-year-old is just go eat whatever you want from the cabinet. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, I picked out on food and I didn't move around much because there wasn't anything to do. I mean, everybody else. No other else kids. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, the kids were either off on vacation in the apartment complex or whatever, and I couldn't go to the pool unattended because I'm eight. Mm -hmm. Um. So, you know, I couldn't go swim it off. I couldn't really do anything. So my entire, like, two weeks there was spent watching TV and eating junk food. Ah. Uh. And so I came back twice my weight. Oh, wow. That's... Yeah, because I, I think I went down there, like... That's pretty know, fast, like, in, like, but then again, eight-year-old's consumption rate, that makes sense. Well, if all you're doing is literally eating yeah. cookies and frosting all yeah. day. Yeah, that's, I, exactly. <laughs> Quilt! Um, and then not burning any of that sugar off. Yeah. Like, I literally went down there, like, 50, 60 pounds or something and came back over 100 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Um, Damn. So... That pretty much set me up for the rest of my life, because even though I worked the weight off by the time I went back the next summer, I came back even bigger. <laughs> so, the point of this is, is in middle school, you know, mm -hmm. I was fat. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I can think of that relates to what this girl said later is there was, like, these two girls who turned around and, like, while I was walking between, like, the common area and the lunch area, mm -hmm. um... She's just like, oh my god, are you pregnant? And I'm like, oh my fucking no, god. why? Why would you think that? Like, I, it, it didn't make the correlation for me because it's just like, I'm fat, but I don't have a giant, like, outward stretching belly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then they just started, like, laughing. It's like, okay, whatever. And I just continued on with my day. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to high school, sophomore year. I'm walking home from school, and this girl is, like, waiting on the corner for me. And Why? like, I get over there and she's like, hey. And I'm like, uh, hi. She's like, um, so I don't know if you remember me, but we went to middle school together. I'm such and such. And I'm like, okay. She's like, you don't remember me, do you? And I'm like, nah. <laughs> she's like, oh. Well, I wanted to tell you that I was really sorry about, like, treating you really badly in middle school. It was a really crappy thing for me to do, and I'm just like, uh... That's so fucking weird. Apology accepted? <sighs> just, like, you genuinely don't remember, and I'm like... Honestly, there were a lot of people who treated me like shit in middle school, and I really did not give a shit. Like, the only people I actually cared about who were giving shit is the people who were picking on my best friend who was half black, half Mexican. Mm-hmm. And, like, she got picked on a lot in uh, middle school because she got picked on by white people, she got picked on by black people, and she got picked on by Mexican people. And then mm -hmm. she got picked on by Asian people and pretty much anyone else just because she's a mixed race. And it's just like, y'all are fucking idiots because she is a joy to be around. I don't really get that shit. People are Excuse stupid. Me. It's funny that... You mentioned the apology thing, because, like, the people who bullied me did a similar thing, but they, because, you know, obviously no one ever fucking leaves Wyville, uh, yeah. they, they apologized in high school, and I was like, Kay. yeah, okay, I totally forgive you, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> no. See, for me, I, I just didn't care, because, again, there were a lot of people who gave me shit growing up, so. I mean, like, I got, like, I caught a shit, I caught <laughs> shit, but it was like, ignorable shit yeah it was never it wasn't ever like oh i'm totally traumatized by this it was like the only traumatizing thing was when i was actively like bullied constantly yeah. for a year but like this is how this is how much of an asshole i am is this person clearly teased me and like was trying to bully me in middle school mm -hmm. and i brushed it off so much that when she came back to apologize like four years later I didn't even remember who she was. I feel like that's, like, a revenge in itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Oh, shit, I was... just fucking clicked. <laughs> well, I read that line, to be fair. To be fair. Um, but yeah, so that was just kind of a hilarious thing. It's like, I honestly... 
I just, growing up, I didn't care about people who made fun of me because ever since, like, third grade, I was made fun of because I liked Pokemon, so. Your <laughs> fucking area stop. was so goddamn weird. Pokemon was popular here so much that it never fucking left. It was so weird. Well, that's. Yeah, that's why it's funny over here, because, like, Pokemon was really popular in grade three, and then after grade three, it was suddenly, like, super uncool to like Pokemon, but I still did. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, all right, what the fuck ever? I don't give a shit. What can, like, what can you do? Eat, eat my shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get back into it. Yeah, well, so, let's get back into the game. <laughs> yeah. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read, and then... Or read, Wait, excuse me. left me on read? What's that? Oh, uh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are read receipts. Receipts? Receipts. 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 I can't talk. Like my reaps. Yes. Listen... <laughs> I don't know what read receipts are. Now I'm saying you're dumb word. Now I'm saying you're dumb word. Got you. Fucking. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just gonna nod and pretend I understand. God, what a world it was before read receipts. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Though, f to be fair, with the newest fucking iPhone fuckery, mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of glad for that because, again, for some reason, the messages aren't coming in in chronological order on oh, my message. That's it's still doing annoying. that where like if our messages are coming like at the, the same, same time. Minute, yeah. Yours for some reason prioritizes and moves to the top even though you're responding to what I'm saying on the bottom. I'm the alpha. <laughs> well I mean yes, but Lol. <laughs> we all know this moon. I will fight. But, but yeah, no, it's really fucking annoying so the only reason i can even tell that you're reading my messages is because it'll see it'll literally say like read on such and such so it's just okay. like okay so you did read it and you probably replied to it i just have to scroll up yeah i just have to understand that messages are backwards in this fucking world yeah bradley huh. that's not what i was talking about you fuck <laughs> how dare you bring that in this house um. Okay, you said you, you yeah, need to just say gotcha. Got pop Sorry. Yu Gi Oh never, like, got popular in my schools. Um, it was just popular among the nerds. Uh, gotcha. Let's see, what was popular that stuck here? Um, <laughs> Pokemon stuck, but it, it wasn't, like, maligned. It wasn't like it was popular amongst all the population, but nobody was, like, getting bullied over it. Um, yeah. Shades, you don't want to know. Uh, and... What, Yu-Gi-Oh? No. The no, you know. You know! <laughs> oh, the ABO stuff. Yeah. You know. Okay, I'm just gonna click gotcha. Um, so while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least a kind of reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. Ooh, big mistake, baby girl. Ooh, and yep. then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, I say what about you? And he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. Alright, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is, oh, that, no. I, is that everybody dropped me. Half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Mm. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but... Emma R's been there since Dad died. I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Oh, I just had a weird flashback. Oh. You remember how Ray and I liked Kyo? Yep. This is the exact situation. <laughs> oh my god. They didn't tell me for months! <laughs> I was like, why didn't you just tell me I'm so fucking embarrassed? Yeah. Being the exterior person on that, because I wasn't interested in Keo. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. It was really weird. But you didn't like... know, right? Like, you didn't know about them being together, did you? No. Okay. I, listen, I was exterior to it because you would forget that Ray and I- Oh, that's alive. right! Yeah. And I think that was one of those points in which, like, Ray and I weren't really talking to each other, and Keo, like, never talked to me. 
except like very rarely. And I think even at that point, you would stop talking to me for a while, too, because you were, like, hyper fixated on that, and I kind of buggered off and did my own thing. You were doing other shit. Don't you say that I'm the one who fucked off that point. No, there's been times where you fucked off, too. No, but this was probably during that, if I'm placing this right, this is during that period of time when you were doing the Blondie, uh, mm. Ava stuff for Rish, if I remember right. Probably, it yeah. was tail end of it was tail end po like just after just, FG it was done. I just remember that like I was on the exterior of it, so like I knew details of it, but most of it I was hearing from you. Yeah, I was upset. So, and then that whole thing happened. It's just like yikes. So, literally, this relationship is hilarious because you're Amanda and I'm Vic right now. <laughs> Shades goes. This happens so often that at some point I just get annoyed and asked. Like I will just blurt out, "Okay, who's fucking?" <laughs> ghosts get out of this house <laughs> Fuck, it sounds like you're yelling at ghosts ghosts leave this place yes zombie ghosts leave this place oh, jesus christ why does this happen why is this like a thing that happens like oh i'm gonna pretend that i'm not dating this person while this other person tells me about it how much they like my boyfriend who i'm not saying is my boyfriend <laughs> Because, especially in cases where it's, you know, best friends who both like the same guy, your best friend ultimately doesn't want to upset you. And, like, they don't want to make you upset, but at the same time they know what they're doing is wrong and for some reason they can't figure mm -hmm. it out in their head that either way they're in the wrong. Because, mm -hmm. hey, guess what? This happened with, uh... Me, Tara, and Steph, too. Oh, so, Christ on a fucking cracker. Where, literally, Tara and I were originally dating, and then suddenly, Steph's telling me, like, that's the worst part, is Steph was actually bragging about it to me. Oh, God. Uh, she was bragging about it to me that, you know, Tara was proposing to her, and I'm just like, what the actual fuck? That's so... why? Mm-hmm. Because Tara was playing the field, and I think she didn't understand that what she wanted was a poly relationship. And she didn't discuss it with people to have a poly relationship. M screams so much inside right now. Yeah. Scott just voiced my Man feelings. Man the remnants of her cake. Yes, exactly. Mm. And yes, Brad, that's being a shitty friend. Exactly. It is. Okay, I take it back. If you're gonna do that, fucking tell the person. Yeah. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. Ugh. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected, I almost can't take ah, it. I want to hug. What could I possibly say to help? Hug! Yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole oh, sword and tail. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. <laughs> I know it's pretty dumb. It's not dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long, long time ago. Same. Same. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Uh, Are they chicken nuggets? Wisdom. <laughs> I like that we went in two different fucking directions with that. I don't know what you said. That w It just said, wisdom! Like, And it was like, what is that voice about? Hmm? I said farm wisdom. Farm wisdom? Oh my god. No. A very old Mabim Bam bit. I... Uh, real friends don't do that, but you might want a posterity save. I think this- I think that this was my answer before, so real friends don't do that. Yeah. When you get older, you start no. realizing the sort of people you want to associate yourself with. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It takes a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful friendships. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. I mean, yeah, high school sucks is definitely the most honest bit, but at the same time, like, 
No, it's like school sucks. Like this can happen at any point in your yeah. life when you're in a social situation where you're in a, a a a literal friend group. You have like a really high chance because there's that like yeah. I don't know. It's just basically statistics, isn't it? Yeah. And I mean, of course, the wider your friend group, the more chances there are for it to happen because you're not cultivating full friendships with everybody. Mm hmm. Because there's only so much of you to go around. If you spent your entire life working on your social friendships, you wouldn't be able to do anything else. That's why Friends is the most baffling uh, yeah. TV show in history because it doesn't work yeah. like that. It doesn't work like that. Just like Big Bang doesn't work like that. Okay, let's not let's not let's make not me tear like into that. <laughs> let me let, don't make me have this discussion again. I'll be upset and angry. More or less, Big Bang Theory just sucks and Moon hates it. That's all you need to know. There's so many things I hate about it. <laughs> yeah. If the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholden to being their friend. God, this is like my mom talking right now. Tori, you've Except become your mom, nicer. but you are now a dad. Except much nicer. Mm. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake. Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, good talk. My emotional uh, capacity has been uh, exceeded for the day. I need to leave. <laughs> yep. Amanda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes her door, she turns around. Oh no. Hey, Pops. Yeah? Thank you. You are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. Oh my god, I forgot! They have such a cute voice line for her saying that. Ah. I'm gonna guess that she said I love you too. Yes! I'm crying! Okay. I love so you, you too, to Dad. <laughs> but I'm gonna read it anyway, because you can't hear it. I'm crying, though. That's fine. Uh -huh. Emotions. Time Emotions. to Time to Damien. <laughs> Let's go. Time to other emotions. See here. Here's this thing. Hey, you know that they say it, what they say about third dates. They get pretty serious. Are you sure this is your dream, Daddy? I'm. Sure. I'm sure, or I can't commit. I'm sure. <laughs> we already said we're hyper focusing. Yeah, that's how I. This is how I run Dream Daddy. So I don't have to worry about keeping details straight if they have any detail oriented questions or. Okay. Things. This tip is bullshit. Drink a full glass of water in the morning to help wake up. No, it doesn't work. I drink a full glass of water every day when I get up after I get out of the shower, and I still fall asleep on the bus. Dude, water is water. <laughs> exactly. It can't fix your problems. <laughs> However, if you do have Thanks, ice Mankey. Food, it does wake you up. I'm glad for them them gay kappas. Yep. Uh, my view of dad is this. There's a reason why it all happened. Likely nothing to do with Amanda, but some of this is possibly bad reasons. But they are being shitty because they're all under the stress of everything. Sucks in high school while being a teen. Listen, I don't- no, 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 Brad, you can't- you can't just, like, kind of ballpark that it could be their stress, too. Fuck that. No, kids will just do that shit for the fuck of it. Some of them will, some of them, like, I will agree that everyone has their reasons, but their reasons aren't always sunshine and rainbows. Or motivated. Like, it can just be arbitrary. People- people can just be really super fucking shallow all the way through their life, like one of my coworkers. Yeah, like- there have been instances where that kind of situation that happened to Amanda literally wasn't because, like, Emma R. had feelings for Noah the entire time, but just because of the fact that Amanda said that she likes him, so Amanda R. or uh, Emma R. is going to go for him, just so that Amanda can't have him. And that's literally just them being petty. Like, that's not... Yeah. And it, it usually doesn't work out, because I know I had a couple friends who kept doing that to each other where... Like, they basically would fucking play ping pong with this one dude. Yikes. Um, because both of them liked him, but they couldn't fucking come to a reasonable understanding, but they both liked him. And he was just happy because he was getting sex out of it. Ugh. Yeah, 16-year-olds. Actually, I think they were 15 or 14 at the time. God. But still. 
And there was actually, I did have a friend who she saw dating people as a competition. So like any time that I mentioned that I had an interest in a guy, all of a sudden she would be dating him. Yeesh. And literally it did happen every single time because the first time I'm just like, uh, okay, well maybe she had feelings for him and I didn't know. And so she felt the need to panic and jump on it. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. And I'm like, okay, so basically if I tell her that I like anyone, she's just gonna jump on them. You could have like because... played a game. You could have made a game out of that, Tori. I could have, but I was never a malicious child. Shades! <laughs> Boys are gross! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, so are girls. Oh, horribly. We're just disgusting on the inside, is the problem. I mean, both and ways, I don't mean though. Their guts. I mean, my guts are pretty gross. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't mean their guts. I mean, personality wise, girls are gross. Because they do a lot of very petty, shitty things. At least guys, when they argue over things, they just punch each other and get it over with. I think that's not an at least. I think it's because emo it, it, socialization has, has yielded oh, yeah. only physical violence. Verbal violence makes no sense. You <laughs> cannot Shades. understand emotions. You, you can't fucking process your emotions. You must punch emotions out of you. Mm -hmm. Can girls be more like that, please? <laughs> Marco says, fuck you, fight me, I'm pretty. <laughs> you are Marco, pretty. You are the prettiest. You are the prettiest princess in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Ever since we had that picnic in the graveyard, Damien and I have been sending, spending a lot of time together. I, was, I thought I was going to go sending letters to each other. No, spending a lot of time together. Okay, Tori learned to read. We go on nighttime strolls pretty often. Fucking Tori learned to read! At least it's like in the ballpark of what it's actually saying though so you're not too far off i mean often and regularly are pretty pretty close words they're synonyms you know okay anyway regularly in my deepest voice <laughs> also brad i still can't agree being a, ha having being a, been a teen girl just i can't agree <laughs> Yeah, I can't agree. Um, except for the part where uh, girls do petty things because they're taught to gain power like that. Like, no, that's entirely agreeable. But yes, that is how women are socialized. Yeah, because physical violence isn't allowed. We have to, have to. We have to be cunning. We have to be parlor fucking violent. <laughs> yeah. Slap with a fan and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. He was so impressed with the first letter I wrote him that he insisted we only communicate by post instead of through dad books. <laughs> I initially protested, but he gave me one of his old signet rings to use as a seal for my letters, and I just couldn't say no. <laughs> no, this is not a kitty cat. <laughs> I would have I would have uh, had yeah, same fun though. with the kitty cat. <laughs> Hanging out with that goth dad again? Please, Amanda, you know his name. And yes. <laughs> Be honest with me here, Pops. Is he actually a vampire? I remember you inviting him into our household that one time, and I've seen the Lost Boys. And I honestly would have preferred trying to see it if he could have walked through the threshold of our home under his own power. <laughs> uh... Marco, what? Crossing your uh -huh. arms? Just go. Just go. Mm, go. I clicked. It's 8.34. <laughs> you're 8.34. No, it's 8.34, which means you're, we're already over time. Um, we'll always be over time. Yes, Amanda. I have become Damien's familiar. I am compelled under his curse. I think that's a thrall, but okay. I'm sorry, sweetie. Turn into a bat. <laughs> I don't think... What's the point of being a vampire if you can't turn into a bat? <laughs> Well, okay, I'm off. <laughs> are you taking the car or are you flying off into the night on the leathery wings of a bat? <laughs> One of those. While I'm out, you can throw away the garlic bread that's in the freezer so I don't die. Oh, while I'm out, can you throw away the garlic bread? I was going to be like, there's a food? missing article yeah. here. <laughs> Instead, I said, while I'm out, you can throw away. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of can you. Uh, while I'm out, can you throw away the garlic bread that's in the freezer so I don't die? That would be great. 
I'm keeping it here as insurance. You understand, right? That's my girl. <laughs> so accurate, though. Damien and I walk along the water's edge, chatting. Damien's cape, I mean cloak, he hates it when people call it a cape. Damien's cloak flutters behind him in the breeze, his magical cloak of holding. <laughs> <laughs> he's a D&D &D character. <laughs> he's a D&D &D character, he has a cloak of holding. He, he's a rogue. Listen, he fucking stored a picnic basket and blanket he did. in there. He did, he did. He's probably gonna pull and dog a treats. out of their nest. Oh god. Yeah. And dog treats. Yeah. This is gonna seem like a silly question, but why do goths wear black? Gothic subculture has always been associated with death, so it would make sense that the style surrounding it would be greatly influenced by mourning. Interestingly enough, though, was that in the Victorian era, Queen Victoria herself mourned the death of her late husband for ten whole years, wearing black for the rest of her life. If that's not goth, I don't know what is. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Tori. <laughs> I have another question. Go ahead. How are you so comfortable with death? You mentioned in the graveyard that it helps you appreciate your life or something? Ah, I've experienced several losses over the course of my life, and I truly believe that the only manageable way to cope with it is to accept that death is simply a part of living. It's the single universal truth for every human who has ever lived. I'm going to die, you are going to die, and life carries on without us. That hurts a little bit Doesn't right that make now. you feel scared? Not at all. Without the advances of modern science, death was everywhere in Victorian era, and yet funerals were major social functions. Victorians were obsessed with mementos of their loved ones, even going so far as to take elaborately staged photographs of their dead relatives. The minutia of mourning was so complex that there were set periods of grieving that were deemed acceptable based on who in your life had passed. Now, we don't have any of that. If you lose someone, you end up feeling lost because... Of feeling lost yourself because we have no modern equivalent of these formalities. We need to allow ourselves time to grieve, to feel that loss fully, but not allow it to consume us. Oh boy, why mm -hmm. did we decide to play this game this week? Um... Mm -hmm. So no, I'm not afraid of death. I believe it is a waste to spend your life dreading the end of it. The time we have here is brief and fleeting and occasionally cruel, but it is, a it is at all times precious. To stare death in the face and live despite that, I think, is a noble existence. Let's save the morning for the dead. <sighs> wow, that's beautiful. Oh, well, I forgot to mention the memento, uh, the nice present that made me cry today was from, uh, my grandmother's estate. Uh, uh so, feeling that a little bit heavier than usual. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can see the moonlight in the bay glint off of Damien's eyes. He smiles. We turn to the harbor and watch ships pass, breathing in the salty sea air. I look to Damien again, and I can't help but be entranced by his charm, his mystery. I find everything about him so fascinating. I lean in closer to Damien, closing my eyes as I do Scream. So. <laughs> really? This is so gay. Uh, his phone's ringing. <laughs> I'm- I'm blocked by your son! I'm so sorry, I have to take this. Damien steps away from me to answer his phone. Oh no. I hope it isn't Lucian again. <laughs> After speaking in hushed tones for a few moments, Damien returns to me. Everything okay? What? He just like made a like a loud noise, and I'm angry because it's so loud. <laughs> There's an emergency. <laughs> Lucian? No, thankfully, but I must take my leave. Oh. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Dads do have to stick together, right? You know it. Then come. There isn't time to waste. <laughs> da, 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 da. Shades, be quiet. <laughs> I don't know what this is. 
A short drive in silence, we arrive at the rundown building on the outskirts of town. Oh no. Where are we? It's better if I just show you. Huh? Huh? I push the surprisingly heavy door open and find myself in a dimly lit waiting room. A few rickety chairs line the walls, and there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the front desk. There are a few paintings and pictures on the wall, but they're so nondescript that I'm still unsure of what kind of place this even is. This looks like a vet. Yeah, I see a little key cat face right here. I also see uh, pet cages. Does he have a pet here that's not doing well? Hmm. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. Is oh. it Lucian? <laughs> yes, Lucian is a dog. <laughs> I mean, he is, but... Yes. <laughs> Damien walks off down a corridor, his boot heels echoing through the halls of this seemingly empty building. Distant howls that go from some place I can't see, and there's a faint scratching sound like claws on tile. I cautiously peek down this the music hall and find stall after stall of scared-looking dogs. A few of them notice me and skitter up to the chain-link fence, sticking their noses through to sniff at the air. Oh, babies. Oh no, it's not a vet. Oh no. It's a pound. Shh. Oh no. Tori, I'm come on. Cry. Tori, come on. I'm gonna cry. Tori, I need I to go my... on. <laughs> and what have I gotten myself into? Uh, Suddenly, uh? the lights shut off. I panic, unsure of where I am. I'm <laughs> I, can't I stumble through the darkness, my breathing getting heavier and heavier. What the fuck? Oh, God. Fuck. This is a bad <laughs> third date. <laughs> The lights finally turn back on. Oh, thank fuck. Uh. Ugh. Mar Mary? <laughs> Why? Mary. Hey, sailor. Mary, what are you doing here? You're not my date. You aren't here for Fight Club? What? I, uh, I don't want to get punched in the face. Great, because this is an animal shelter. <laughs> <laughs> We take care of stray animals, and then people adopt the stray animals. Didn't you see the pets when you walked in? <laughs> uh, uh, I just... Sorry, I didn't really expect to see you volunteering at an animal shelter. <laughs> wow. Okay, kid. Way to put me in a box. Dames, you hear this baloney? Just one moment. <laughs> what? Thunder cracks and a door bursts open. Appearing from the shadows, I see... Damien? <gasps> you look like a Target employee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my precious boy. <laughs> well, it's real clothes, isn't also, it? glasses. Yeah. Hi. I am very interested. Really? <laughs> Listen, I got a thing for glasses. Okay? You got you got it for the Maganes? <laughs> yeah. That um, was so um, hey. It's Damien. He looks completely different. Shane, no shut clothes. the fuck up. No <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. Clothing, no makeup. <laughs> I wasn't planning to share this side of me until much later, but I'm not as goth as you think. I, uh, I'm a systems administrator for the IT department of a realty company. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. You don't even know how to work dad. <laughs> Are, you Are, sure? you Are you sure? Are you sure? Tori, right Tori, I wear tennis shoes to work and I listen to Bruce Springsteen. I enjoy going to the hardware store and looking at storage solutions. And I volunteer at the animal shelter in my spare time. Are you kidding me? Look at this fucking belt buckle. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm the fuck? I'm boring. What the fuck? <laughs> also, he took out his contacts, so he does have her eye color. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm fascinated with Victorian history and the goth lifestyle. That much is true. It's just not all that I am, and I need you to know that. <laughs> oh. I, uh... <sighs> Shades is like, also told this was awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hate to kill the moment here, but there's some pressing business that needs attending to. Oh, oh right. It's Duchess Cordelia. Oh, God. 
Again? Who's Duchess Cordelia? She's one of the pups, gets out all the time. She somehow learned how to open doors, and now she's unstoppable. So she's a pit bull. Listen. Listen, pit bulls know like how, to, like that. how to open doors, right? If I remember right. Uh, so do Dobermans, so do German Shepherds. Basically, any dog with half a brain. Yeah, most of my dogs didn't have the brains for it, so, you know. When did she get out? This morning, I went to go sing sea shanties to the cats, and when I came back, she had already <laughs> bolted. Listen, Mary has interesting interests, okay? I have to stay here with the pets, so I need you two to go find her. Of course. Where could she be? She always ends up running off to the same places. Here, let me draw you a map. Wow. Mary starts scribbling on the back of a pet adoption form, and I bet you uh, the dog is with Robert. <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> Brad says his dog isn't tall enough to open doors. <laughs> Relatable. I mean, our dog isn't, but uh, Finn <laughs> certainly is. Oh, Shade says my dog is a crybaby. If he doesn't get to get what he wants, he cries. So if he's stuck, he'd rather wait to be let out and cry. <laughs> Aw. Wow. She's very smart, ruthless even. You need to stay on your toes and get her back by sundown, or else she turns into a werewolf and starts eating people. Hey, what? Huh. You're a perfect little peach, Vic. We just don't want her to be stuck outside when it's cold. Oh. <laughs> I'll grab some treats and we can hit the road. Damien and I look over the map Mary created for us. I think that they were twins. Just looking at the two of them. That's actually very possible that they were fraternal twins. Mm. Or, well, I mean, Damien's trans, so... That's true. Could so have been, been identical, identical at one point in, or another, or they could have been fraternal, either way, and just been I two mean, two uh, well different zygotes. I drop same time. Be, I think it might be that because the number one thing that's different between them is they have different uh, different spots where their hair originates. Damon true. Actually, has a full widow's peak, and his originates in his widow's peak. Whereas hers can't you is alter? Right can't you side. alter where your part is though? You can alter where your part is, but you can't alter where your hair originates from. Oh, that's interesting. Because that's just like the growth pattern of your hair. Like for me, it's always from the left going to the right. Oh, um, okay. Even though I can alter my part to make it down the middle. Okay. Oh man, I'm nerd's house. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at where she wrote shit because <laughs> she fucked it up. Mary is me. I can't fucking remember. But look. Look at next to Nerd's house, though. Mary's sick pad. <laughs> Amazing. Coffee dad. dad. Kale. Kale. Mario, Mario Batali. Batali. <laughs> Other, Other Nerd's, nerd's house. house. Dames. Dames. And then Smalls. Smalls. Smalls? Smalls is, um, Robert. Uh, they're they're besties, pretty much, so, you know. Kale it must be Craig. <laughs> who's the other nerd? Uh, other nerd... Cause, okay, oh, oh, is... it's my boyfriend. It's, um, it's Hugo. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Oh, that's something I gotta tell you. At, well, no, I can the tell you. The ocean or whatever. There's something I forgot to tell you, is that there's an actual two dads in this that will get together um, <gasps> during other runs that you can kind of orchestrate, depending. And it's Hugo and uh, Damien will date. Nice. With, so their sons could be step brothers <laughs> <laughs> this map really is the best at least you're not other nerds house looks like you're moving up in the pecking order you're the prime nerd <laughs> congrats kiddo <laughs> oh, where should we head first oh okay uh i didn't realize we got choices um graveyard isn't an option no it's not <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> yes, indeed, Tori. <laughs> also, she doodled kitties on the side right here. Fucking <laughs> is me. <laughs> yeah, same though. Cat obsessed. Okay, so cul de sac, coffee spoon, softball field, bayside, aquarium. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, like. We we're just at the bayside, so I'm gonna guess not coffee there. Coffee spoon, maybe? Because it's got food? I don't know where to go. Hey, I chat! Where should we go? 
No, I she. Mary was no, this is a list of places that the dog goes. Oh, okay. So. It's not a back of an uh, option it, it, application. It's no, it's not. There was a, there's some art paper. Okay, there are some narrative uh, mistakes, and one of them I'm hoping they fixed now, because there was some thematic issues with one of the parts of the ending that you get per dad. It has to do with Amanda. Um, um I don't know. I vote for cul-de-sac. Okay, let's just start from the top then. Damien and I exit the parking lot and start driving toward town. I look over to him. He seems concerned. Shouldn't be too hard to find the Duchess, right? She's a pretty big pup. Mary wasn't kidding when she said that dog was smart. One time she incorrectly guessed the winner of a Kentucky Derby. What? It was a really great year for Bark Bark Bark. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shit at me. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. What do you think our odds are, Vic? Uh, gotta stay positive. My dad once told me, Vic, can't shove raisins up your nose. What does that mean? Vic, you can't shove raisins up your nose. And that hurt mean? my feelings. I felt discouraged, but I kept a positive attitude. And you know what? I made it happen. What does that fucking mean? He shoved raisins up his nose. Ew. <laughs> I might have, I might have landed in the Forced me to have ten golden raisins removed from my nasal cavity, but on that day I learned that anything is possible if you have a good attitude and abnormally large nostrils. Young children really are resilient, I suppose. They bounce. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maggie, the fuck kind of advice is that? We don't know. Really, really weird advice. <laughs> yeah, young children. <laughs> <laughs> Size. <laughs> 16 is usually the age in which people do dumb shit. Uh, Tide Pods. <laughs> Let's just hope for the best. Uh, we got this. <laughs> Shades. Vic, why? We just don't know. Tide Pods. <gasps> oh! Uh, Brian! Let's also not... Let's... Let, okay, there's Tide Pods. There's also fucking chicken with real cars. Oh, God. Um, there's the suffocation game, if I remember correctly. Oh, uh, doing the knife game with a pen. Game. Yeah, doing the knife game with a pen. Doing a knife game um, with a knife. Doing the knife game <laughs> with a pencil. Um, with a pencil. Doing a knife game. Uh, swallowing goldfish, <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, cinnamon challenge. Cinnamon challenge, that's another good one. Uh, <clears throat> Michael Jones' favorite, the Planking. one pound gummy bear. Planking. Yeah. Planking on dangerous objects. Yeah. Such as the tops of the building. Um, what? Parkour. Else? Parkour in general. Yeah, parkour. No. Amateur parkour. Uh, Let's there was preface. another one I was trying to remember <clears throat> before all of this that, like, happened before. Shit, what was it? <clears throat> um, doing drugs in general? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> No, there was one that that post even listed, and I even thought that oh, oh, God. Shit, I forgot about that. One. I I'm gonna just be disappointed um, if we come up with it. So, oh, listen. Brad, America's Funniest Home Videos. America's Funniest Home fucking... Videos. Is it a perfect example? Yeah, okay. it's also a perfect example of how some people don't ever grow out of it. It's true. We drive through the cul-de-sac, and everything seems to be pretty normal. It looks like Brian's doing some yard work in the middle of the street. <laughs> Our house. Yeah, I don't know why we're using this as the cul-de-sac background. It seems kind yep. of out of place. Maybe, oh, actually, maybe this, maybe this is a glitch. Maybe this is a glitch. It might be. It might be. Hey, don't step on the grass. I just mowed. Have you seen any unusual activity in the area today? Uh, aside from your underwater lawn. Rude. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How dare you? I take my lawn care very seriously. Vic, please. <laughs> you haven't seen a dog run through here, have you? Well, a little while ago I heard Maxwell barking at something. When I came outside, my garden had been torn to shreds. It's going to take forever to retill the soil. Hmm. That could be a dog. Or rather, God damn record. it, fucking shades. <laughs> Whatever it was, it must have been hungry. Ate all my tomatoes. 
I'm very sorry to hear about your garden. If you need assistance restoring it to its former glory, please don't hesitate to contact me. Will do, buddy. Good luck finding that dog. Hmm, she's probably still hungry. I wonder if she's looking for more food elsewhere. All right. Mm, coffee, coffee spoon. spoon. <clears throat> Matt. We park in front of Matt's coffee shop and walk inside. It seems like a slow day. Matt sits behind the counter reading a book. You would, nerd. <laughs> hey, Matt. I am, I am, am love. Didn't expect you to see you two today. What's up? Have you seen any stray dogs around? Actually, yeah, I caught one digging through the trash earlier. It ran away when I tried to get closer, though. Did you see what direction it ran in? Matt, thanks for a <clears> second. <throat> Might have been running east, I think. That pup tore through three pans of old right said bre <laughs> banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god. <laughs> Want to take that some for the road, just in case? Sure, sure thing. Free bread! I was gonna say, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, Matt is. Up a slice. I want to uh, smooch his face. Maybe packed up a couple slices for us. No, you gotta share it. It'll be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to eat an entire. That's how I feel. Myself. That is literally how I feel about all food. <laughs> Scott can fuck off. <laughs> Thanks for the slice. The road slice. Holy shit. The banana bread is gonna be so good. I think he meant to give it to you for the dog. <laughs> right. I meant. It's gonna be so good for the dog to eat. <laughs> I'd eat it anyway. Yep. Damien, please. I feel like we're on the right track. You think? If we keep this up, we'll find the Duchess in no time. Hey, if you like dogs so much, why don't you have any? <laughs> Lucian is severely allergic. I wouldn't put him through that. But there are still dogs in my life, so for that I'm grateful. There's about to be one more dog in your life, buddy. Splendid attitude. Let us not waste any more time. Barely. Okay. Like, East. So, Bayside, maybe? Uh, sure. We arrive back at the Bayside. Just as a general rule of thumb, you shouldn't really feed dogs people food just because... Like, if you get in that habit, you have to, like, be extremely vigilant. Um, it, in general, it's not good to feed dogs, uh, like, processed food. If you're, like, make, like, it's not a bad thing to make the dog your, like, real food instead of giving them the garbage my, that yeah. is literally sold. My mom used but to make the to dog make food. Yeah, you have to make it in special preparations. Like, you don't want to include salt, you don't want to include pepper, you don't want to include Cannot include in anything there. with garlic no or herbs. onion. Yeah, no garlic, no onion, no grapes, um, <laughs> no chocolate, Dogs obviously. don't like grapes. Dogs can't eat grapes. No, uh, they will die. Skin doesn't digest. They will die. Yeah, skin doesn't digest and it gets stuck in their intestines and whatnot, so it's not a good idea. Um, but, like... Going out and getting, like, rabbit or chicken or, like, pork and beef and cooking that up uh, and serving it with, like, just kind of plain vegetables like carrots, broccoli, that kind of stuff. That's actually really healthy for your dog because that's literally the diet that uh, our dog lives off of. And he's fine. I mean, other than the fact that he's fat because they won't stop feeding him and he gets a lot of extra treats. <laughs> But it is recommended to actually do a real diet versus processed diet because, as it turns out, the stuff that they put in dog food and cat food, um, the animal byproducts, it's turning out that uh, it's causing dogs to have more cancer. Oh my god, really? Yeah, that sucks. things are showing positive that the byproducts that they're putting in dog food uh, has a higher risk of causing cancer in dogs because the byproducts are literally the things that are not safe for humans to eat mm. as opposed to just not want to eat. Okay. That's really And originally the byproducts is supposed to be what we don't want to eat, but that reminds again, me have my dog died of cancer. People. So Yeah. That's a that's some shit. <laughs> yeah. And never mind the fact that like uh dry food for any animal, like dog or cat is mostly 
some sort of cornmeal. I just realized I didn't take my meds. Hold up. <sighs> Neither did I. Fuck. <laughs> I even adjusted my schedule for it. Okay. And I fucked it up. <laughs> no, in most dog quality, in most dog food. Like, unless you're getting science diet or something that's coming literally from the vet, most of it is cornmeal or chicken meal or chicken bride product meal. Um, I know because I've been on the hunt for better quality food for my cat to eat for dry food since she won't let me wean her off of it. And the best I've managed to find is something that's okay. mostly, uh, <sighs> it's mostly okay, chicken meal. So it's still meat that's in there that's the primary ingredient. But it's not, it's, it would be better if chicken alone was that first ingredient. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. And also, I, welcome back. I also, yeah, okay, Brad, you're killing your animals anyway, so <laughs> you're, you're feeding them Purina, so. And Purina has a very sordid history with providing safe food for animals um and safe litter and safe Let's go. everything just uh purina yeah we bad. had to we had to swab off of them yeah and purina's the, bad the were there's been plenty of fucking public notices about them <laughs> just like old times huh i remember it as if we it was yesterday i mean earlier today <laughs> So what do you think? Any side of the pooch? None yet, although who knows if she made it in, in onto any of these ships. The Duchess would do that? Mm, I wouldn't put it past her to know how to navigate it in rough seas and wouldn't without a compass. <laughs> Very smart. Pops? Damien and I turn around to see my daughter. Hey, Amanda Panda. What are you doing here? Did you think I just stayed inside all day, vegging out on the couch and watching TV? <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Right. I'm heading home to go veg out on the couch and watch TV! <laughs> Had to get a burrito first. <laughs> Young miss, have you seen a dog around here? Hey. Oh, you bet! I saw a Pomeranian with a bow around its neck. I saw a big old Doberman named Henry. There was a stroller full of Yorkies, a Greyhound, a Golden there. Retriever. Did you see a Mastiff anywhere? Hmm, no dice. I wouldn't definitely remember that one. I gotta run, though. This burrito is about ten minutes before the cheese breaks down into the molecular structure of the tortilla and makes it all soggy. You understand. You? <laughs> of course. Have a lovely evening, Miss Universe. This is the cutest smile! Fuck you, Damien! It's adorable. Ah, oh, it's cute. <laughs> Matt said the Duchess went east from the coffee spoon, but there's no sign of her here. I suppose we need to go not so east. Which would be the shelter. <laughs> Which would be west. Yes. Um, maybe we skip the shelter, though, and go to softball field? I mean, we can't go to the shelter because... <laughs> yeah, it's not on there. Softball field. We, well, I was going to say the aquarium, but okay. We can go to the aquarium later. Wink, wonk. <laughs> It's time, it's time for uh, Shades to pine over his BF. Yep. We drive to the softball field. It looks like Craig's team is practicing. I wonder if any of the kids saw something. Craig spots us and jogs over a softball bat slung over his shoulder, hitting his other baby. <laughs> hitting his other baby, the one that's hidden behind him? <laughs> yes, the one strapped to his back. <laughs> Twins! Yes. Hey, bros, what's up? Craig, you wouldn't have happened to see a dog around Shades, no! <laughs> <laughs> what escaped from the animal shelter and we're trying to locate her hmm i don't think so maybe one of the girls saw something girls oh you got finally get to see the double trouble uh... hi amanda's dad hi lucian's dad we have names girls have you seen any dogs around there is a big dog here earlier. She ran off a while ago, though. I don't think she had an owner, but it's really, but it really wanted to play. We tried playing fetch with her, but she just took the softball and ran. I think she ate it, actually. She was a lot of dog. 
Here, take another softball. Might come in handy later. Many thanks, Craig. <laughs> this dog is gonna be like <laughs> the happiest fucking dog. <laughs> it's gonna get banana bread and a, a ball. Softball. Yeah. Oh God, banana bread. <laughs> Brad. Ah, good. The not the not a real sports field. <laughs> yes. I fear that the hours are growing short. We must make haste if we're to find Duchess by sundown. Damien's looking more stressed out by the minute. He looks Gotta perfectly content like currently. The mood. Oh, God. Please. What kind of dog does a vampire have? Knock, knock. How many gosses does it take to screw in a light bulb? I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I'm going to kill myself over all of these. <laughs> They're the worst! Yeah, and you're gonna love it, I'm certain. Uh, please save. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was please gonna be save. that big a deal. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, I don't know where to pick. I'm gonna do the first one. Alright. I would imagine it would be unwise for a vampire to take up the company of a smaller mammal for the means of companionship. It would be too tempting to... A bloodhound. I was gonna say a bloodhound, Damien. Ah, uh, yes, nope, haha. Ha. Wow! I'm actually surprised that it had, like, a... Go back! Uh, load? I think that should be it. Okay. Uh, knock, knock, or how many goths? Knock, knock. We'll just go down the list. Who's there? Death cult. Death cult who? Death cult of Veda more Oh, Dude, Christ! Dude, friend, we're gonna find that dog. Well, it made the happy noise, and a whole bunch of hearts just went over here, but that means the last one is the one to to play ball with. <laughs> Damien looks uh, more stressed up by the But hey, minute. we get to hear all three of the bad jokes this way. <laughs> How many gosses does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. How many? One. Goss are very capable, especially when looking for a dog. Oh, that one's the ball out of the park, but... Uh, yeah, I just heard. Yep, there, there goes the yeah, emojis. It's all the way over there. Yeah, I think his portrait is over here. Like it loaded in wrong, so it's just like yeah. off screen. Damien smiles to himself. Oh, there it went. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Damien. Damien directions from the map as we drive around. Also, he didn't have his glasses on in that shot, so it's like, does he have a non glasses? Yeah, there's a lot of glitches here. Yeah. It's bad. Uh. Okay. So softball field. Okay. Literally. A fucking aquarium is it yeah that's it ah oh, yeah penguins sick <laughs> damien and i stopped by the aquarium everything looks in order here but it might help to get out of the car and take a look just why are we parked inside of the aquarium because this this part's inside of the fucking aquarium brad says can you give me those punchlines you laughed through them when i was getting cereal i don't remember any of you're them. gonna have to roll it back boy oh <laughs> it's yep. terrible i'm so yep. sorry you seen anything? Oh, wait, no, hang on. I think I remember. So the answer to the one was, like, what kind of dog does a vampire have is a bloodhound. Blood and then knock, knock, and that was who's there, and it was, like, blood... Death cult. Uh, death cult, and then it's death, death cult, cult who, who, and... Death cult to a, a, a more, more chipper Yeah, accident. and it, it was We're seriously bad. And then the last joke was, uh, how, how many, many goths... goths to screw in a light bulb? And, and the answer was, one, goths are very capable... And that was the one with the emojis that popped out, so you know you done good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, did you say you seen it? Yes. Okay. Hmm, no dog here. Not even any sign of her. Huh. Did you know the penguins are considered the goths of the sea? <laughs> did you just make that up? <laughs> Damien, you <laughs> so badly. <laughs> okay. That we took the aquarium just completely off the map, so where do you want to go? <laughs> I, I'm i at a loss. I'm at a loss, too. Cul-de-sac again, I guess. Yeah, shit. Fuck. We arrived at the cul-de-sac to find everything looking normal, except... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hugo's front door is wide open. Oh, shit! <laughs> pot brownies. Shit! <laughs> no! Doors. There's no pot brownies in there! <laughs> Only WrestleMania memorabilia. She can open doors. This is class. <laughs> this is classic Duchess Cordelia. A telltale sign. We should approach with caution. Nightshades. Nightshades. 
whatever goes down in there, I got your back. We creep up onto the porch and step inside. Oh, <gasps> she's beautiful! Mastiffs are so cute. Oh. They're very drooly, but they're very cute. What a cute baby. They're also massive. Mm -hmm. So that size comparison that you're seeing is about accurate. Mm. Um, there, sitting in the center of Hugo's living room, like she owns the damn place, is one of the biggest dogs I've ever seen. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> well, she hasn't broken anything in here, yet. I wanted to give her a tiny voice. <laughs> Wonderful. Now all we have to do is get the leash on her before she tries to escape again and get out of here before Hugo comes home. Easy peasy. Duchess, come here. Nope. Duchess uh -huh. eyes Damien warily. As he approaches, she begins to growl. All for the food, all for the food. <laughs> She's on her guard. We'll need another plan. Uh, hand her a dog treat, try the softball, give her the right said banana bread. Yep. Right said banana bread? I think so. Ah! Well, no! that's a lot of emojis there, <laughs> Damien. I reach into my pocket and pull out the slice of right said banana bread Matt gave me. Just just sniffs the air and hones in on the bread. She's so pretty. <laughs> I love her. Come here, girl. Nice and easy. I got some yummy homemade, vegan, and possibly gluten-free banana bread. If that's what you're into. <laughs> oh, she moved. The Duchess cautiously approaches me and gives the bread a good sniff before gently taking it from my hand and dropping it to the ground, like dogs always do for some reason. She curls up and starts munching on the bread. Oh, Good girl! Success! Success! Yay! Damien walks up behind Duchess and attaches the leash to her collar. She immediately notices and starts whining. Oh. It's time to go sure home now, Duchess. Duchess. I'm pretty sure Duchess can fucking drag Damien. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wants. Come on now. I'm pretty sure the dog can suplex Damien. <laughs> like, uh, look at that smile. Uh, so cute. Uh, it's time to go home now, Duchess. Damien gives a tug on the leash. She won't move. Huh. Duchess, what happened to our rapport? You and I used to be bosom buddies. She still doesn't move. She's huge. There's no way we could even try to lift her. <laughs> well, this is a weird situation to be in. I think we're literally trespassing in our friend's house with this large dog. What are you nerds doing? Oh, hey. <laughs> Ernest stands in the doorway with a plate of pizza rolls. Accurate. <laughs> ha! <laughs> of course you would eat that Totino's trash. Listen. They are my bim bam boys in that household, so don't. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh. Shit. 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 Save. <laughs> A dog? Uh. Are we just gonna start from the top with this? Listen, I wanna say what flavor people uh, Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> uh, pepperoni blast. <laughs> the Duchess notices Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Um, Ooh, she angry, though. <laughs> Why is this dog in my house? Do you want to go back and pick a different Yeah, answer? I do. <laughs> I do want to load that up. I mean, if it turns out none of them change it, then... Uh, don't tell you, we're definitely not trespassing. I don't know. Which one do you want to do? One. Definitely. It looks like trespassing. Well, Yeah. It just looks like that. Damien, what are we doing? Damien's glasses have mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> yep. Um. Trespassing. Well, well yeah, it does, have a, it does have a. <laughs> it yeah. does have an effect. I have a feeling this is one of those where it's like. You can basically. Don't get tell a your dad emotion. about this? Yeah. Hmm. I'm definitely telling Hugo about this. Hey, man, be cool. I am cool. Cool enough to not tell your dad? Uh, you're good. The Duchess notices Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Okay, so it looks like... She didn't change her face. To... But oh. they also might be glitched. Why is this dog in my house? It's a long... So it looks like the only bad response is saying that you're not trespassing. Yeah, seems so. Yeah. 
The Duchess suddenly breaks free from Damien's grip and hurtles towards Ernest. Ah! Ernest and the Duchess fall to the ground. Pizza rolls fly everywhere. This is bad! Ernest, are you okay? Uh. Ernest feeds the Duchess a pizza roll. Hey, she likes pizza rolls! Good. I'm so glad. Ernest sits up, but the dog keeps licking his face. Oh, hey! Pedro stands at the door, looking like he's at a loss for words. Sweet he just yelled, Sweet Manchego! in Raynor Vaze's fucking voice. God damn it. Oh, what's. Why are you guys. Whose dog is this? <laughs> it's a long story, but it involves a large dog who knows how to open doors. Boof! Here you go. May I present to you Duchess Cordelia? Uh, how do you do? Borf! <laughs> We're friends! <laughs> Hugo looks the traumatized. Looks at Ernest's face. <laughs> She's from the local animal shelter. She got out and we've been chasing her around all town. Uh, all around town, excuse me. His glasses came back. Yay! <laughs> Your house was her final stop. Dad, can we keep her? <laughs> Holy shit, he called Hugo Dad! <laughs> Ernest, I don't know if we're set up to take care of a... Huh? Wait, did you just call me Dad? Okay, even he's surprised. <laughs> Come on, please. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Hugo sighs. Hmm? We had been talking about adopting a dog for a while. But you have to promise me you'll take care of her. Yeah, I'll give her all the pizza rolls and her little heart desires. She'll die a really early death. Early death. <laughs> Ernest is smiling. Brad's right. I suddenly remember what's on the back of this map and pull out a pen, a pen out of my pocket. <laughs> Got the forms ready for you if you're interested. <laughs> I'll even waive the adoption fee since, you know, we technically broke into your household. Ah. Well, all right. It's a deal. Free dog. Hugo steps onto the porch with us and signs the form while Ernest plays with the Duchess inside. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he sure seems to be happy with his new friend. Oh. I know! He called me dad! Can you believe it? Look at that <laughs> smile! Look at that. Everybody's good. Damien places a hand on Hugo's shoulder. Uh, I certainly can. I think this will be really good for Ernest. I, it should teach him some responsibility. You should probably look into getting better locks on your doors, though. The Duchess is a wily one, but do right by her and she'll love you two forever. Thank you. Aww, it's the best ending. It's very cute. This is a very good third date. <laughs> and long story short, the Duchess lit now lives in a happy home and neither of us were charged for breaking and entering. So, all in all, I think it was a fine day's work. <laughs> nice work, you two. Vic, you could be a very valuable asset to our team volunteers, you know. If you ever feel like petting some puppies, hit me up. Uh. <laughs> Mary! Uh. Entendre! Oh god. Mary, I always feel like petting puppies. Good to know. Well, I'll catch you fellas later. Wink. Please. She's winking at her brother. About your fucking no, book. I don't think she was talking about that either. Mary, Mary isn't like that necessarily. Mary starts to leave. Mm, and one last thing. Hey. Damien's been telling me all about you. Glad he finally brought you around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Damien's my special boy. I love him. We go way back, I, and I got a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. If you ever hurt him, Mary, you can fill in the blanks. <laughs> I gulp. Mankey's yes, laughing at I me. Am. Mary leaves me alone with Damien. <laughs> Wink wonk. <laughs> hmm. So, about the whole goth thing. I, um, completely understand if you aren't interested in me anymore. Damien, no! <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Hey, <laughs> Brad, knife wife. No! <laughs> Am I missing something here? 
I'm not a cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear dumb glasses. Don't you care? No. He looks so nervous. Smooch him! <laughs> Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all the goth stuff? That's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things you love. Aww. Hmm. History, art, Victorian fashion, dogs, storage solutions. <laughs> It doesn't matter what it is, you care, and that's awesome! And also the glasses are very cute. Wow, Tori, this is really you. <laughs> it's me! You fucking Megane <laughs> fucking stalker. Hmm. <laughs> you don't think I'm boring at all? If you're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. A huge fucking nerd. I literally don't work. <laughs> Wait. Don't do anything. Wait, Tori, read. Oh god, it's even better. I spend too much time online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud. Is I've he my mother? Been, I've even been thinking about making my own peanut butter. Okay, listen, though. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we can be boring together? <laughs> it would never be boring if it was with you. Uh, smooth! I'm gonna fucking punch myself in the that face. That was almost as smooth as fucking Joseph. Ha! <laughs> ha! Close the door. Hi! I'm definitely not gonna talk about your dead spouse! <laughs> and I uh. and four kids is totally an old amount of kids. <laughs> Brad, Brad says so she kids. isn't true knife wife. The true knife wife is in a different game. Tori's playing. Oh. <laughs> Man, I wish I'd had access to the Twitter gifs right now, because I would totally post that. Because <laughs> there's one that is just, it's hilarious of Yuri. <laughs> Only because it's literally Yuri going, hey, 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 Oh, you mean, <laughs> you mean the eyebrow one? Fucking, yep. pre fucking yep. Preston has, sent, has shown me, like, two different versions of that one. It's like, oh god, Yuri, no. Yep. Wait. Damien suddenly closes the gap between us and pulls me into a hug. He buries his face into my shoulder. His hair smells like lavender and rosemary. Edible. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I was so scared you wouldn't like me. Quite the opposite. Where's that ice noise coming from? <laughs> like, he says in-game. No, is he? <laughs> Damien. Where's that ice noise coming from? Mary is sitting in the back with, like, an ice daiquiri watching you two, like... Mm-hmm. Like you're her, her own personal fucking soap opera. <laughs> Like, oh, don't mind me, I'm just, uh... Do you guys a need a condom? <laughs> Anything? Just like, I'm just making a cocktail to get you in the mood. <laughs> Emphasis on the cock. <coughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't spit it all over the fucking monitor again. I really wish I could remember what the fuck made me spit take that last time. There's... I'm so shocked that it came in so well, too. <laughs> yeah, I I never... I did not know spit takes could actually happen. Like, I thought that was just a bullshit thing. And then I did it all over my monitor one time when... It was Tori, your button said something really fucking ridiculous, and I just lost my shit. It was absolutely me. What it was, was What me. was the thing, though? I, I wish I could fucking I remember. I don't remember. <laughs> mm. Well, I was screaming about it in our chat, so I'm sure I could just fucking type in spit take on the on the dm and I be just like uh that, like if i get really up close to my mic it sounds totally different yeah yeah <laughs> all right come on let's smooch this boy oh shit fuck <laughs> oh shit i just accidentally oh, clicked well <laughs> may i kiss you <laughs> son you don't gotta ask <laughs> hey at least he's asking do bats have wings though oh, are welcome <laughs> Excuse, please. So, uh, I want to do do bats have wings. <laughs> well, that got hearts. All right, probably thou art well welcome is the best one. Hmm. Look at us fucking safe scumming just so we can get the best answer. Listen, the the glasses came off with this one. Barely. You may take upon yourself the. You know what? Just kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles slightly and leans in, giving me a gentle kiss. Ah! Damien pulls away and gives me an intense look. Oh, you guys are going um, straight to his house. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! The puppies. 
the glasses spontaneously came back to Cockblock. Do you want to help me take care of the puppies? Yes. This is actually Tori's probable ideal date. <laughs> Except in this case, they actually did take care of puppies. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is the most ace date. <laughs> Damien and I arrive back at the cul-de-sac, our fingers entwined. Like a proper gentleman, he walks me up to my doorstep. Mankey's reactions, though, in the chat. <laughs> Amazing. This was lovely. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I have one request. Oh. What's that? Can we keep sending each other letters? Oh my fucking god, you nerds. Oh, nerd. But of course. <laughs> he kisses me one last time before turning around and heading home. Oh my god. Sorry, I had the pterodactyl screeched. <laughs> okay. We're getting close to the end of the run. I think right. technically it's non epilogue y, so it should kick in. Um, go, 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 go. Waifu. Amanda runs back to the couch from the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible, but fails. Mikey goes, what was that sound? It was my pterodactyl screech. Did you like it? <laughs> it happens when people are excited. Into a cup. Is water into a cup, maybe? Hello, father. I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. <laughs> sure you were. Hi, Amanda. Oh. So, are you guys, like, starting a vampire coven together? Well, plot twist. Mothman. Damien's actually Mothman. I didn't see it coming either. Aww. Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve it, Dad. Aw, shocks. I'm gonna head to bed. Catch you in the morning? Sure thing. I make my way to my room and grab the box of Kleenex. Ah! <laughs> Leave! <laughs> Desist! <laughs> and fall into my bed with my heart full, excited for the days to come. Lol! <laughs> I'm gonna fight you in the pit. The Date complete! Come. Baby boomer, dad joke, Victorian fang, duchess, death anxiety. <laughs> Baby boomer. We got an S rank. <laughs> Vic is just full of crying. No. <laughs> Vic is just full of crying. I- Oh, I got my achievement. Interview, Interview with, with a vampire. vampire. There was something about <laughs> Cor Corey Feldman in the background that I could not hear what Damien was saying. <laughs> Phew. I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, Vic. Be cool. You can't. You physically are incapable. Yeah. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. <laughs> hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Something fishy? Rats. <laughs> <clears throat> the last one, please. <laughs> yes. That life of crime is finally catching up to you. <laughs> Mankey, pterodactyl screech? Yes, that is exactly what it was. <laughs> I tried to send him a different, in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Ugh. Well, if they think they're going to take me alive, they got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Uh... Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. No, it says you're uh, hosting me right now. It says on my auto host list. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I know it didn't auto host Cacophony the other day, so. Yeah, I had to auto host you a couple times the other day. Yeah. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? <clears throat> Father, it would. Fi <laughs> what? It would be fill my heart with glee. What the fuck? What? what the fuck, Amanda. Take English again. Yeah, same. 
I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies un uh, 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 lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I want to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Aw, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off of the table. Amanda's jaw drops. No way! I figured you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. That DVD box set of long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers? This is all 19 seasons! That is expensive. Jesus Christ. That is expensive. DV DVDs are still expensive, even though nobody fucking uses them. Yeah, I mean, the full box set of Merlin is, like, is still bucks. fucking. It's $90. <laughs> What? The was... Last time I checked during Christmas, it was sixty nine dollars. Yeah, because it was marked down. I think it's not back to ninety. Shit, son. It's fucking bullshit. Twenty dollars per DVD. Yeah. And bonus material, including commentary with the actual ghosts featured on the show. Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. <laughs> I'm Sorry. glad you like it, honey. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? Totally. <clears throat> I follow Amanda the, to the back. To the back. Oh, Sorry, I accidentally clicked. Hey! What? Oh, God. <laughs> you told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party with, with all the dads I'm dating. <laughs> Uh, hopefully not one of them, though. <laughs> Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Yeah. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Hell yes, it is. Fully customizable down to the type of mac <laughs> and cheese. Damn. And there's an ice cream cake, the good kind, with the crunchies in the middle. I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? All right, so this might be where the, the thing is that I have to complain about. I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Okay. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. So, if I remember right in, in this was early game, they didn't change the ending to kind of qualify what was going on with, um, I'm a you know, like, the, the development, like, if you got the information out of Amanda, like, the situation, I think if it's not revealed to you, you invite them to the party kind of thing. Ah. Um, though, I, I, I did the situation right the, the two times, so I don't think, yeah. but, like, in the original, it was, like, specifically Emma P or R, whichever one. Mm hmm So, yeah, they've changed it. I should it. make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. <clears throat> But first, mac and cheese. God, this fucking stream quality is getting worse on my side. No! Like, things are so pixelated and it's constantly screen refreshing on me, so it's hard to... wonder what's... Maybe something's going on with my connection again. We've been having problems out here. Could also be here. mine, because we've been fucking doing this for, uh, two hours. Two, true. We're very close to the end, though. Thank you for sticking it out. Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. We have a real fluffy Samoyed right now. Or some... How do you say that? Is it Samoyed? Samoyed. Samoyed. Uh, his name's Harold. Loves belly rubs. He always... <laughs> he always tries to lick your face if you get too close. Huh. Mrs. Chris Hansenson, thank you so much for telling me in great detail about every single dog currently at the animal shelter. Please, tell me about the Afghan with the three legs again. <laughs> sure, Quadro, we call him. That's one of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one for you. Really? Nah, but I could get you in to meet all of them. We always could use extra hands around the shelter. <laughs> and if those extra hands also happen to steal a dog. <laughs> I'm glad you two are able to bond over cute dogs. Really warms my heart. I do like Mary. I do like her. Dad, we're having a moment. Hey, sailor, your kid's a good egg. <laughs> Where's your goth prince? You two are usually attached to the hip these days. He's, uh, he's around. Stellar. 
Mary turns her attention to Amanda. It's not too hard to sneak a dog into college. Trust me, I did it plenty back in the day. <laughs> At one point, I had three cats living in my dorm. <laughs> I decide to leave them to it. <gasps> Puppy! All of a sudden, a huge dog leaps into my arms. <laughs> Touches! Hugo and Ernest run up to me. <laughs> the Duchess gives my face a few broad licks and hops down. We're working on that. Got her in, discipline, in a disciplinary class. <laughs> She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind at all. <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along nicely. Hey. She's a valuable addition to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll eat it. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Justice Cordelia oh shit! Roland darts across the yard, and follows her, laughing. Well, <laughs> he's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. Thanks for breaking into my house. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Vic, Brian, Brian, you made it. <laughs> Ha! I wouldn't pass up a good Mac. What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Of course. <laughs> no, that's the line. <laughs> you can't take it away from me. Of course. Just not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you! Don't- Thank you for the lovely compliment. <gasps> Daisy trots up. <gasps> She's so cute. Baby girl. Hi, Amanda's dad. <laughs> I have a name. <laughs> hey, Brian's daughter. Okay, but to be fair, little kids aren't usually allowed to call people by their first names. I know. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thank you so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Ha! Ah. Get even saltier. <laughs> he really is me. <laughs> Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over What's yet. worse is knowing how Brian's p purportedly supposed to operate. I feel bad about this interaction, but at the same time, no. Hey, bro! <laughs> bro! This is a real rager, taking her older age into consideration. <laughs> I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Bro. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Let's hit the gym sometime soon, huh? Yeah, no, Brad, I totally agree. That's kind of my major complaint is that, like, the graduation party See, is mostly that's... friends of her dad. No, that's who you're interacting with. She runs off with her friends, quote-unquote, meaning there are children of Amanda's age at the party. It's yeah. just, in the original wording, I really remember that Emma R. was there, and I remember being angry about it because the game... It was like, no, she would have not befriended that person again. Yeah. You said sure thing, dude, right? Oh, uh, no. Sure thing, dude! Oh, they're Brian cute. And er, Briar and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Mm -hmm. Hi, little ones! Hello! Hiya! Thank you for all the ice cream cake! Wait, girls, how much did the, of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. Oh my God. No, I didn't! Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike! I have your face! Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure this out. Yeah. Finger guns. <laughs> Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang out soon, yeah? Hey. Totally! Tell Amanda congrats for us. Looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cult sack. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Not a chance! Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line. What are you talking about? And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime? Not a chance! <laughs> you see this face? This is a man who's well, thirsty. See you later. Which is horrifying. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I have a great boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Mm. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Vic. Thanks, Hugo. 
Marco, please, that's spoilers. <laughs> you know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Yeah. He wants some time with some guys. It ain't gonna be me. And it ain't gonna be Vic. Whoa, Jesus, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda walks by and pretends not to see Hugo. <laughs> Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're gonna do great things at art school. She just went pew pew. Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah, thanks. <laughs> Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. <laughs> you're right! Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah! I'm gonna break anything I want, and there's nothing you can go <laughs> you can do about it. Mm, is he blushing? He is a little bit. I think that was his... I think he's embarrassed because he's having to talk to a student. Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Absolutely! Nope. And I'll have you know that that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. So, she'll fit into college just fine. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Hmm. Mm. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Well, yeah. We're good at this. Uh, See you later. <laughs> Hey, man! <laughs> what the fuck? I just, I love it. He's so fucking awkward. <laughs> Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of right said banana bread ready for her. Oh shit, thanks, man. You know she'll, I know she'll love that. Hey, Amanda's dad. Where, oh, there he is. I turn to spot Lucian walking up to me. Yes, Lucian? Thanks for inviting me to your party. Anytime, bud. I know we had a rocky start, but I'm glad to know you. I hope you know how much your dad cares about you. Um, yeah. My dad's had a rough couple years, and I know that it must not have been easy to raise me alone. He's kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot, and it seems like you make him happy. <gasps> so, you're cool in my book. <gasps> Thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. And let me know if you want me to give you a stick and poke sometime. Well, <laughs> thanks for coming by, Lucian. Well, see you around, Vic. What does stick and poke mean? <laughs> it, it, it means this kind of the the uh, tattoos you can give. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Brad, don't talk call him Bob. His name is Robert. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Bob now. God, cringe. Amanda F6. wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been here. <laughs> you've been there for me through everything. There's There's been times in my life where you were my only friend. Like I was, recently. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Dad, don't rub it in. I was, <laughs> I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this. And I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, Vic, if you cry again. <laughs> You're the best, Dad. I love you. <laughs> and a cry. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. I'm not crying. Present time! Amanda hands me a tiny rat package. <laughs> I tear up the, I tear the wrapping off to find a framed picture of me and Amanda. Aw, oh, Tori, come on. <laughs> it's, it's us. Hmm. Kind of shocking. All our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. 
Oh man, uh, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited please. to see what the future holds for you. Knock up dead, kid. I always do. I'm so fake. I, I so know. Fake I can hear. <laughs> I was like, Tori, please. <laughs> Problem is my fake crying comes with real tears. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. Uh, uh, Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Ah, I'm gonna break so much stuff, intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. <laughs> Amanda hops up. <laughs> Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard. You know, back of the backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where Damien is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. Fucking oh. anime. <laughs> Fucking anime. I'll leave you to it. Oh shit. This they didn't change it. They this didn't is still fix it. This still makes me mad. But I think Okay, they, they either didn't fix it or Amanda made up with the Emmas. Yeah, but, like, I still feel like... It's just never talked about. Yeah, I feel like also this is, like, if you didn't get the good, like, rapport with your kid, it, you know, is, like, ambiguous enough that it could be all three of those things. Um, yeah. Like, it didn't happen, or you didn't find out, and she's just still pretending to be going around with them or something. Yeah. I'll leave it to you. Me and the Emmas are gonna go get ice cream. Love you, Pops. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Oh shit, this weed shit, shit though. this is anime. <laughs> <laughs> I take a seat next to Damien as the last guests make their way out of the party. The fact he even has a fucking cherry tree in his backyard. Yeah, God, though. Damn. Mm -hmm. You anime fuck. <laughs> Did you know that in the Victorian era, they would call benches seedy boys? <laughs> really? <laughs> for a second. <laughs> I'm kidding, Vic, but what if? <laughs> what? Is, who are you, Griffin McElroy? <laughs> I told you these people are Mabim Band <laughs> like fans, you know that, right? It's good to see you're in your civvies again. Thank you. I had a revelation the other day, Vic, and I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. There was a version of myself that might have been embarrassed to show my true form. My information technology form. <laughs> but what you said to me about how my passion was what you truly admired, that emboldened me to feel like myself, regardless of how I choose to dress and act. Brad, the problem isn't the fact that he has a cherry blossom tree in his backyard. The problem is the fact that he's even decked it out to be, like, straight up Japanese. Yeah, that bench is. It, he's also got like the a bench and the pond with and the lilies in it. Also, the lamp that is being obscured by Damien's butt. Um, yeah, and also the fucking string of paper lanterns. Yes. Instead of separate entities, they are simply different facets of myself. A three dimensional human being with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way. Yeah, wow. <laughs> we know what Vic's about, am I right? I love yep. dressing the way that I do, but I, but feeling constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place, to make myself happy. Tori, I have a feeling they live in, like, uh, Washington. This, this, <laughs> like, Maple Bay is definitely in Washington. Well, you guys have cherry blossom trees, like, fuck. I mean, yeah, but we don't have bonsai twisted uh, blossom trees, you not know. unless you go to very specific places. True. Um, I place my hand on Damien's and feel a light squeeze. Wait. <laughs> it's a hand! It's a hand! I know, but it's like, hold on. I place my hand on top yeah. of Damien's. Yeah, and he and probably he turned it and squeezed. Squeeze. No, I, okay. it doesn't say that on top of. <laughs> it doesn't say on top of, it just says on. So. Well, yeah, but generally on means, like, you're on top. But, Tori. Okay. <laughs> Looking up, I'm greeted by Damien's warm smile. I'm not gonna drag you, but the phrasing. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, I was gonna say Damien's gonna be on top tonight. I mean, chica, wah, wah. I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be to other people. I can't stop smiling. I'm so proud of him. I'm gonna start crying again. Gay. <laughs> Gay. Gay. 
Damien, I'm so happy you've realized that you can be a dog-loving goth. Me too, Vic. Me too. I feel myself inching closer and closer to Damien. I go to brush this the is gay. hair out of his face, uh. and I'm shocked at how soft it is. <laughs> They're so cute. How is your hair so soft? <laughs> Dog shampoo. This is oh, a common, this is a fucking me. common thing. Mane no, and tail. Shampoo. Yeah, mane and tail, but I've also heard dog shampoo, too. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. <laughs> you know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss. But I think I can make an exception for you. That was gay. That and was that's the end. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's going to play the, the theme song in. Which I can't hear. So it's know. just it's just Dream Dad the Dream Daddy song from the title screen. Um which is the lyrics Dream Daddy and Who's who's it gonna be? <laughs> like kinda over and over again. Look at that. Look at him. He's right there, Tori. Yep. Right there. Yep. Lol. Yep. Who was Val? Also, I couldn't even fucking, like, hear it on the stream, so... <laughs> it's very quiet. I had to turn it down because people were... People told me something. The sound was... Yeah. Like, stuff was too loud. I think it was probably when it was title screen version, though. Oh. Tyson Hesse did one? Or Hess? Uh, he was a, a an artist that I've been following online for a long time. Oh, we get to see Damien's pinup! I just remembered! <laughs> I completely what? forgot! Tori, what? get excited! What? You get a pinup every time you finish a route. What does that mean? Oh, apparently <laughs> I can right-click to make it go fast. <laughs> I didn't realize. I wasn't aware that the daughter brag battle actually had a theme. Yeah, it did. It was, uh, like, a faux Pokemon theme. Oh. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Wow. I like it. Wow. That's... Wow. That mm -hmm. was not what I was expecting. Okay, let me see if I... I think there's a gallery for them. Hold on. I like to continue. Yeah. Okay. So I've got... These are spoilers, but I've done these routes already, so we're not doing these with Tori. This is Matt's. Okay, Matt's <laughs> is, like... Hot is is also uh-huh heart stopping also tori you might recognize the artist kind of cues because this is the person who's doing the art for the pen and ink pan romantic uh dating sim you know the the it's the office oh, supplies the office supply one yeah yeah that's because, if I remember correctly, they're one of the artists who worked on this game. Yeah, but I forget. I, they didn't do character work necessarily. Or maybe they did do the character work. Because literally, the way that this that he's drawn here is very similar to how he's drawn in the game. So. Yeah, no, actually, they might have done the, the sprites for this game, too. I can't remember, though. It's been a while. And then here's Hugo. Making yeah, me die laughing. Really different. Yeah, no, they're, they all come from different artists, but... This one, this one makes me die every time, to be fair. Just like <laughs> Look at this! Like, Look right there! <laughs> wow. Son. Yeah. That is not hygienic. No. No, it's not. Listen, though, it's a pinup. That's not hygienic. <laughs> so we, we've got three, so... Thank you guys for coming out to the stream. Yeah. And... Shit. If you notice, also, the... Once you unlock uh, routes, they do their full color rather than the monochrome um yeah. so shit now what am i gonna do on thursdays uh we're gonna go back in <laughs> don't you remember you were like i want to date craig because <laughs> you want to be like shades uh shout out to shades you if you're watching this vod we're gonna do craig get uh probably next or something i don't know it's up to tori tori's gonna get to pick this time just Ooh, please don't God. pick now Joseph. I'm torn between Craig and Brian, though. Okay, we could do Brian too. I've not done, Cause... I've not done them so. Because unfortunately, um, Brian definitely fits into my type. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really cute. It's just that he's a, a brat. He he comes off as a braggart. 
Yeah, he's really cute, but I mean, like, physically, I don't know why I, I do get attracted to the bear. He's man. a thick boy. Come on. He's, he's totally he's up a there. Bear. Yeah. He's a bear. He's also got freckles. Oh my gosh. He's also got the tummy. Mm -hmm. I like the tummy. Yeah, no, we can do... Boys. I know, I I think I remember being spoiled on his pinup, but oh, yeah. Christ. I don't know anything really about also his route. Craig. But also Craig. We can like, do all of the Craig ones except for Craig I refuse Joseph. You'd have to buy the game to play yeah. Joseph. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with refusing Joseph. Yeah, Joseph is a yeah. no. Marco... Brian is thick. He thick though. With three CCs. He's he's three C's worth of thick. Okay, but yeah, we will be back next Thursday with another Dream Daddy route. We will be jumping yep. right back in on who's it Are gonna, we gonna be. Make a new dad? No, I think we Aww. can keep. Well, do you want to make a new dad? But we'd have to go through the route like preset oh. stuff. We can do that and just fast forward. I've done that before. Mm -hmm. Like, because no, okay. I wasn't certain, like, if there was any changes if you, like, pursued somebody from the start start, quote unquote, but there's no differences until nah, you hit we, the dates. We'll just stick to it. Okay. I want to look at the pinup one more time. Mmm. I forgot. Not even the Damien pinup, but. I love the Damien pinup, but it's very not my art type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I like it. It's very in line with the character, but I'm like, mmm. I also would have liked it if Damien was posing with dogs. <laughs> Yes. This one is also not my art type, but I appreciate it because they made him broad AF. Well, yeah, the, the thing about it is those two are definitely pin-ups. The other one is just nice art. Well, to it's be fair, Damien's pin-up options are more limited, I, I would think, because chest open is not really a... Unless you wanted to show well, off I'm binder. Just, I'm, I'm also surprised that they, like... Outside of, I guess, fan knowledge, it doesn't seem like that ever came up in Damien's route. I think it comes out in another thing. I forget why, or if it's just casually mentioned in something. But I know it's supposed to be in-game lore kind of thing. Like, it's not just a, oh, afterthought, J.K. Rowling-ism, you know? I mean, I figured that was the case, but it, I would think that would come up in route somehow. Oh. Streamer safe mode removes content copyright flaggable material from game. I didn't, oh. I didn't know that there was anything. I haven't gotten flagged for anything. Oops. I guess maybe you I didn't mean to do that. No. I wonder if the copyright material is literally, like, the music. Um, possible. But I can't monetize anything on YouTube anyway, so... And I'm exporting them to YouTube, so... There. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what I clicked. TBH not paying attention okay but yeah the stream is over goodbye farewell Avita Zane <laughs> we are going Goodbye. to bed bye bye